Hello, thank you for clicking on this video. If you're new here, my name is Dale. This channel is DLJ from PA. I focus on reselling content, reselling items, mostly on eBay and Poshmark. Today, I'm bringing you a different kind of video. I've been intending to do these types of videos where I kind of learn with you. So I'm definitely new to reselling. I'm not an expert by any means. I'm not gonna come to you with all of the answers, but I'm gonna be real with you and show you as I learn things. So today we're going to learn about sprucing up this pair of fry boots. And also I have a pair of Bagley Mishka flats, which I'm going to clean up as well. So this pair, as you may recall, came in a front up rescue box and they're a great pair of boots, but definitely need some love. And I think with a little bit of love, I can get a better resale price for them. So very excited. And I happen to have this Ugg uh, cleaning brush because my girls have had Uggs over the years. And so it is a nice soft brush. So first I'm going to use this to scrub off any loose dirt that is on the boots. There's actually, well, let me make sure special attention to this lip around the sole but they don't really seem to be too dirty about the bottoms give them a little scrub too okay next one So next, I do have some Doc Martens Wonder Balm. Wonder Balsam. So, it comes with a handy little tray that holds the sponge. And then that's what the inside looks like. It's just like a, almost like a paste. So we can just take the little sponge and get up some of the paste and now oh, I'm a little nervous let's apply it I'm gonna apply it first to the side that had those white bumps because I am so curious if it's going to help with those so that's where we're gonna start exciting. Do you already see the difference? It really is like wonder balsam. What a difference. That's nuts. So I'm going to apply a little bit more and pull back the creases here so I can get in the crease. My dogs have gotten curious. I'm tiptoeing around the table now. Look at that though. Look at what a difference it made. And I think those white spots are gone. Yes. Okay. We'll continue on with the bottom of the shoe. This front panel good. So we're just working in sections. So doing this bottom panel first. You can see it in the camera, how much of a difference this is making. It's awesome. So this stuff is um, actually not scary at all because it's not a stain. So it's really just like a leather conditioner. Let's see what it says. Wax is formulated to nourish, condition, and protect leather. There you have it. So that is what is happening now. We are nourishing, conditioning, and protecting the leather in these gorgeous boots. I see one of those white spots trying to make its way back. I'm 
my gosh, you guys, look at what a difference it's making. So now we're gonna continue on up the top and I'm actually going to get rid of this newsprint because I don't want any of the ink to transfer onto the booth. And I do have a piece of poster board on the table as well. And it's not a nice piece of poster board, so I don't care what happens to it. We're good for this side now. You ready for the flip? Crazy. It's like really deepening the tone of brown. This actually does look a little bit dirty here. I already put some on, but you can see what I'm talking about. I hope that this stuff works its magic there. Pay a little extra attention. that we, we did have a line here in the middle. So we'll make sure we get that good. Tiring. <laughs> That's how I should be by it, my guess. how much I was shaking the table. Sorry about that. Get the front. Let's make sure we get the whole back seam. All right. I think we are done our first boot so let's take a look at the difference here's our boot that is finished and here is our boot that has not been done it's crazy what a difference it makes wow all right so we'll put this one aside now and work our magic on this one
Well, now I think we let them dry and make sure that we're good to go. I bought this pair of Bagley Mishkas on Mercari for $9 plus four something shipping. So they were like $13. And they're a very cute, flat, navy blue with sparkles all over. But the insides could use a little cleaning. Those labels are pretty dirty. And then the bottoms, I think, can be improved with some light sanding. So we're gonna see if we can spruce these up and then flip them for a higher resale price. So first, nothing too fancy. I'm just gonna take some Lysol wipes and wipe up the inside and see where we stand after that. See, there's a spot there. I'm gonna try to get out. Yeah, that lifts it up. You can see already just with the white how much better the label looks. Take the second wipe for the second shoe. This time I'm really getting that soaked since I saw how well it worked on the first one. Look how good that turned out. Now look at this one compared to this one. So we'll work a little more on this one. We're gonna let the insides dry. So for the bottoms, as I said, I'm going to sand them. The lightest grit that I have is 220 which I would prefer a little finer, but this is what I have to work with, so we're gonna give it a shot. that is a little bit better. Now this one has some, it looks like um, a sticker on it. So we're gonna try a Scotty peeler and see about pulling that up. Okay, so I'm gonna use the metal Scotty peeler and we're just gonna see if we can't lift these up. And this one looks like it wants to come up this little corner. these. The only problem is they're going to look so brand new under these. Two hours later. Okay, now I'm wondering if I shouldn't try to clean the bottoms before sanding them. I'm gonna give it a shot on this one, then it's gonna to have to dry. Okay, so now we're obviously gonna to have to let that dry. Maybe we'll do a little cleaning over here too as long as they're both gonna need to dry. Oh, and this actually looks like it might be a sticker too. In the middle there. Let's see if we can take the Scotty peeler to that. I do think it's coming up. Oh, this 
start. Okay, so now we'll let both of them dry before we give sanding another shot. Okay, it is the next day. We have let our shoes dry, and now we're going to take the sandpaper again and see if we can't clean this up a little bit. to do too much more sanding. We don't want to destroy the shoe and make it too thin. So I think that's about as good as it's going to get. Still, I think the inside, just with a little bit of work, looks so much better. And let's see, even comparing the two now, it is brighter, which I think is better for pictures. I'm going to maybe carefully go around the Bagley Mishka. how it looks. Yeah, I think we've brightened both of them up and now I think just need to clean up the other side from all the dust. They'll be ready to photograph and list and hopefully we will flip a profit on them. So I just have to show you that um, because of all the crystals to clean the tops of them I decided to use some canned air and you can see already what a difference it made on the shoe that I blew the canned air on versus the one I haven't. See how hard it would have been to get in between all these crystals, but watch with the canned air. Here is my canned air. And we'll just quick bursts. Here, wait, maybe I'll zoom in. Can I zoom in? Yeah. We'll do some quick bursts right in that area. See that? So good. And then watch at the toe. Very satisfying. Ready? All right. As I said, I think that we are now ready to photograph and list.
Okay, I think I saved the best pair for last. I got a pair of fry boots. Look at them. Aren't they pretty? Here we go. And these are a size, let's see. Size seven. Stop. Oh, I think I see maybe the problem. It looks like this one has a lot more wear than this one. No, maybe they both have equal wear.